so after weeks upon weeks of very sunny days followed by some rain we have now this snowfall now this is what climate change looks like the trees on the farm which were in the winter dormancy because of the very hot weather got the message that it's time for them to wake up from the winter dormancy they woke up and they started blooming some of them like the peaches and the apricots started putting out these flowers not expecting snowfall now this snowfall is likely to be followed by the frost frost is very likely to damage all these flowers damage all the blossoms and we may not have any peach or any apricot harvest this year this is a peach tree and as you can see the snow is falling hard and fast on top of it it has blossomed petals have opened up and those are the ones that are going to be vulnerable to the frost that is likely to follow the snowfall contrary to what we think snow by itself is not cold but it can bring the cold it can bring the frost that can be harmful to the tree it can bring a dip a sharp decline in the temperatures these trees have woken up from the winter slumber and they needed some sunshine they needed the rain but not this untimely snowfall now apart from the peaches what was also coming into what is called the pink bud stage were the apricots now the apricots if you see they have these pinkish bud that's why it's called the pink bud stage now these buds were just about to open and uh, some of them may not open because of the cold and uh, this is not the weather like i said which they were looking forward to they were looking forward to a lot of rain yes but not to the snow and this peach tree over here is more or less in full bloom and these blooms do not have a fighting chance i think also like the apricot in the pink bud stage or the bud break stage are our plums and again this young plum is not going to be happy with this sudden snowfall thankfully we also have some trees on a farm like this cherry tree which have not really woken up from the winter dormancy they are still dormant the buds have not yet broken so they are not going to be vulnerable to this sudden snowfall to the snowfall which we had today and the other trees which have also not woken up from the winter dormancy are our apples and the pears and both these fruits are the pom fruits and they are still in their dormant stage one apple tree over here and it has not yet woken up so any fruit on this young apple tree which is about 2 or 3 years old is going to be safe the apple buds are going to be safe on this tree they are not going to be vulnerable to the cold because they have not yet woken up like they have woken up on the apricot the peaches and the plum trees this is the pear tree and this has also not woken up from its winter dormancy so anything on the farm which has not woken up from its winter dormancy is more or less safe look at this peach tree over here this is a peach tree which is almost fully blossomed and look at the petals over here they are laden with snow right now and its neighbor the apricot tree again this one is the one that we harvested from last year and if i remember correctly this one this variety is called the prisia variety so this is a very prolific bearer this year i saw a lot of buds on this i hope it survives this cold this is a variety of plum which unlike the other variety we have on the farm which has not woken up from its winter dormancy and this variety this perhaps the late variety this late variety is called the prunes now these prunes if you can see the buds they are not even swelled up and uh, they are very far from the pink bud stage that the other varieties are in but the peaches with their almost full blossoms and the apricots in their pink bud stage the plums in their pink bud stage all of these are going to be vulnerable not really so much to the snow but the cold or the freeze that the snow is going to bring the dreadful frost is likely to follow the freeze so we keep 
some of our blueberries in containers such as these and grow bags such as these over here in our compost base protected from the cold protected from the weather but i think the blueberries that we have even outside they will be okay because they have not really woken up from the dormancy this is the raspberry and the blackberry bed they're going to be okay because they have not woken up from their winter dormancy yet so they're going to be okay but certainly not the peaches that have blossomed and maybe also not the apricots which are in what is called the pink bud stage because the buds are going to be vulnerable also like the blooms to the cold to the frost this is garlic garlic has no problem with the cold whatsoever so after weeks upon weeks of no rain at all yesterday we had snowfall and now the rain is relentless it's been raining since almost 24 hours now and we have our nalas full of the rain this is a nala which is running right next to the cottage here look at this this is full of water there was nothing it was dry as a bone yesterday and now it's full of water so this is the reality of climate change we do not know when it's going to rain next today it's raining heavily it may not rain for the next couple of weeks couple of months we do not know we have no idea so it's a good idea to conserve whatever surplus water we have and this certainly is surplus water the water in the roofs right now that we are collecting is surplus water all that you need to do is invest in underground or any kind of storage tanks for the rain water so that all of that can be fed into these tanks ponds and can be used when there are dry spells because of the relentless rain because the heavy rainfall that we've been having since the past couple of hours the water sources have opened up now you see water dripping from everywhere dripping from the walls collecting in these drains taking it down to the bigger drain and down eventually to the rivers this is a beleaguered peach blossom sometimes buffeted by the rain sometimes by the snow we have no clue whether it's going to survive or not the water is flowing now from every nook and cranny in the farm flowing in from there from the upper terraces and then it's coming into this nala here and this nala is flowing right in the center of the field joining the bigger nala on the right and then the nala will eventually join the bigger rivulet and then eventually the river and then finally the resting place the oceans adjoining a farm is this nala flowing behind me it's full of rain fed water and the water is trickling down from different houses along the slope uh, the water coming from the road is joining it water flowing from the terraces of the farm it, it is being fed by all these sources and it's flowing down now this water is also a resource this water can also be harvested it can fill the ponds in the farm it can fill any kind of water reservoir that you might have because this is a surplus this is a free source of water we are using it to feed our duck pond we are using it to feed our fish pond because like i keep saying this is a resource which is there today but which might not be there tomorrow this is the nala taking the water all the way down down to the river down to the rivulet down to the ocean eventually And 
now we have the hail this peach tree in full blossom is being battered along with me with this hail